Hey, spent a bunch of time out in the garage this evening making the base for the Behemoth 3D printer. Got a lot of Z travel there. I'm really tired and I'm full of tiny little chips of aluminum. You can see this is the what the print head will look like. It's on the linear slide back and forth. There's a spot for stepper motor there and on the other side another stepper motor here. I've tested and they fit the holes. Here will be the Y stepper motor and I'm going to have some bearings uh, similar to this. Probably 10 millimeter. I've got 8 and 10 to play with. Uh, this type of bearing bolted through holes that I have yet to make here on the inside. There'll be two of them so two rods can move back and forth and hold the bed up. You can see I've got uh, quite a bit of Z travel here. Easily over 300 centimeters. I'm not sure um, if these rods will be secure enough to hold the um, the load. I mean they don't move now but I probably could have went with larger rod, like three quarter inch. Um, but I've got a, I, I designed it with a couple of options to uh, mitigate against that if I have issues. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll join the two top bars here together with a piece of angle aluminum and some clamps that I have. To just clamp it together at the top, if just to hold it together, and see if that, um, see if if I do have an issue, I'll I'll try that first, see if that clears up any issue. Um, if not, I designed it so I could put uh, an MDF plate here with a cutout in it, basically similar to what you'd see on a Prusa i3, where the cutout would would. Uh, basically be all the way around here and then you could secure the clamps to the plate and that would probably take care of any uh, unwanted vibration that uh, I might get at a higher elevation there on the z-axis. So that's where I'm at today. Tired and uh, one thing I, I'd note is the um, the tube has a slight twist in it so it doesn't sit perfectly flat on the table. I'm not sure what the, the spec, what I was reading, it could be like 0 .087 inch of twist over three feet. I'm not, I, I don't know how to measure it, so this is a two foot piece. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, I used the Dixie, sorry, the, I'm tired, the, the Wixie digital angle gauge to measure the angle both in this plane and in that plane and the tubes actually worked out in 90 degrees both ways exactly so I know that they're straight up and down in relation to the the top of the surface there so yeah this was fun and waiting on some parts now from uh, eBay for the for the table I'll uh, install the steppers and and uh, get the uh, Acme rod going tomorrow and maybe run some up-down tests of it, see how it, how it goes. The, um, once I get it all done, I'll print out some nice end caps for each end in black. And I'm going to paint it the same color that I painted the, the slide, or sorry, the, Z, uh, the ZX slide here. Uh, I'll paint it, I've got that um, truck bed liner, it sticks to anything and I'll uh, clean it off, sand it up, and, and paint it, and it should give me a nice, uh, nice looking finish. And I'm not sure if I'm going to need to put um, how big I'm going to need to go with feet. Like I don't know how much it's going to, how tippy it'll be when I have the the table going on it. But what I'll probably do is um, put some legs, maybe a three inches out on each side. Just maybe print out some uh, some legs. Maybe I'll even have it print out a piece of itself. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's it for now, and have a good holiday again.